load or add raster file go to dgl automatically this file you have already uploaded in your present lms you copy it in your uh, desktop dgl open now while opening you have to give 4131 so in the numbers alone please you don't have to worry once you start giving this or two times ninga kudutinga na it will be served here recently used file la vandru so don't worry about that uh, numbers in the numbers when no automatically i have entered into your laboratory manual so click okay once you click okay you take a screenshot print screen this is your first screenshot with this x comma y okay the cursor when you move panala automatically you will be having a four digit values it will be in a negatives so this is your first screenshot okay next step plugins manage and install plugins go to geo referencer install plugin once you install plugin you close this go to raster geo referencer geo referencer once you click this automatically your geo referencer display area will be viewed now now load raster again here also we have to load the same dgl file open again you have to give indian 1960 that is 44131 okay so automatically now your dgl input file has been loaded in your geo referencer display so But once then? you loaded your dgl file in your geo referencer display area you have to analyze which is the latitude and what uh, which is the latitude and longitude of the gcps so gcps are nothing but your ground control points whose hex comma y is already known on the ground so automatically you have to analyze which is latitude which is longitude so i already told which is the biggest in we have to analyze which is the biggest number based on the biggest number that is your longitude that is your east this is your smallest number this is your latitude this is your northing so you have to start giving the control points in a cyclic order or in a clockwise direction that is 0 1 2 3 in this order so you have to zoom the particular 2 2 3 or 4 to 5 times you click this add gcp once you add click add gcp automatically your dialog box will be open one is it will be asking for your easting and northing or x comma y now you have to enter the latitude and longitude values of that particular ground control point once you entered all the four points so first you when you entered this first point you go to the zoom to layer it will be having a zoom extent again zoom to your second point note down this latitude and longitude zoom to the particular level again click the add gcp again the second point will be asked for your x comma y then key in your uh, x comma y input file then automatically your second gcp is also entered then third likewise you have to give the four gcp control points once the gcp control points are given view panels gcp table once the gcp table is open before running the geo reference of these two columns will be these three columns will be empty so idu mattum tha irukum so you will be having a source and destination columns will be displayed over before running the geo reference so it will be empty so automatically once you checked all your source and destination points are given exactly right in the destination x comma y exact a kuduthirkeengla and you just analyze it once it has been given right go to settings transformation settings so default you will be having a polynomial one and nearest neighbor again you check it out okay target sr crs now here is 4131 alone give the output raster in a your file out specify the output raster file click okay 
okay once it's clicked okay close this geo reference uh, one more thing in under the geo reference you have to take the second screenshot uh, this is your second screenshot with this rs or a residual error so it should be less than 1 if it's not less than one you have to repeat the procedure or you can delete or you can edit the or move the gcps based on that once you start moving the gcps automatically your residual error error will be reduced so if it's less than one so even in a 0.3 learn it will start minimum so 3 learn the 0.3 learn the one kula evlo vena enak varala so based on your less than lesser value will be having the higher marks so once you got it take the screenshot close this your reference project new discard don't save anything discard now add the raster file now you have saved that output raster file as dgl geographer once you opened or loaded the dgl geographer into your display area automatically if you move the cursor your coordinate systems should be 78 and 10 since now your dgl input file is transformed into a geographic coordinate system that is your latitude and longitude once it has been transformed you take the screenshot this is the third screenshot okay right click now we are going to transform this geographic coordinate system into a real world so right click save as again geotiff browse to your own folder make it as a geo dgl projector now crs should be 44 n in the edathila marandra kodadu you have to give us a 44 n you have to check whether 44 n is displayed over here click okay automatically it will be loaded in your qgis window click new discard it load dgl projected file now if you move on the cursor automatically the x comma y will be changing now the x should be six digits y should be six digits that is your real world coordinate system okay this is your take it screenshot this is your screenshot number 4 okay plus the dgl projected and dgl geographer geotiff file should be put together all the files four screenshots plus two files two tiff files geotiff files in a folder zip that folder name the folder as your rrn underscore ex1 and upload that zipped folder under exercise 1 output okay so this is your your target date is 26th july 